The title of this is Cinderella, but I don't know why it skipped the um, title screen. Anyway, we're back to another memory. But before I have to deal with Marm, let's look at our diary. November 10th. How many times did I redo my hair, try on the outfits, and stare into the mirror? I put on products that I didn't even know about, and checked and checked to make sure my makeup was alright. My feet hurt so much on the way to the venue because of the heels. Yuri looked so awesome playing the drums. I tried so much, and I only look a tiny bit better. I felt like Yuri was unreachable for me. The girls that were surrounding him seemed to suit him better. But I... Yuri... What should I do? He says you're pretty. He loves you. Just accept it. Here we go. Oh god, look at your clothes. Leave that teddy bear and come here. Let's go buy some clothes. Oh god, Grandpa, it's been so long. Ah, uh, hold on, I gotta go back in my memory banks and try and remember Grandpa. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> leave her be. She says they're comfortable, and you guys already filled her closet. But Dad, she looks like a boy. What would people think of us? Her own will is more important than what other people think. Besides, she's too young to care about that. I heard most girls her age make for dresses and hairbands every day. But she's not even interested in those things. Oh, I'm really worried. What if she's like that when she gets old? She has to care about how others see her. You know, I like that she doesn't care about what other people think. When you get old, you have no choice but to do so. I don't want her to go through all that now. Let the child be a child. And don't worry. As you said, she is a girl. When she finds someone she really likes, she'll become pretty even if you tell her not to. Oh, Grandpa, you're so wise. <laughs> Gosh. Hey, Yano. Good morning. As I came out to the living room, I saw Yano in the kitchen preparing for breakfast. Oh, Master. I didn't wake you, but you woke up? Yano spoke slowly for some reason. Yeah, I know I was a pain. I'll wake up by myself now, so you don't have to come wake me up. Thanks for everything. Oh, no. It wasn't a pain at all. But, Master, I thought so yesterday, but you look different. Really? Yeah, um, how should I say? You glow. Really? Thank you. I woke up early and tidied my hair and clothes. Ah, you're so pretty now. Everything was settled with what happened last night. I felt much better after acknowledging my own feelings. Good for you, girl. Beautiful people always gather around him. Before, I didn't like comparing myself with them. But now, I've decided to think differently. I don't want to lose to them. Alright, the fight is on! You go, girl. You do your hair and put your pin in there. Besides, Yuri wants me to be pretty. I wanted to adjust myself for him. Suddenly, I remember what Yuri told me yesterday. He told me... I'm pretty. I can't forget what I felt when he told me I'm pretty. I was always plain. No, I'm still plain, and I can't change that. But I want to look pretty in Yuri's eyes. I don't care about what other people think. I don't know if an ugly duckling can become a swan, but I should still try. I got up early to organize all the things in the shopping bags Yuri got for me. Today, I am reborn! I am reborn! Looking at Yana's reaction, my morning effort must have paid off. I felt great! But, where's Yuri? Oh, huh? Yuri? He said he had work to do, so he left early. Oh, and Lance went out with him for his discipline guide duty. Okay. He came home after I fell asleep yesterday, and today he must have gone out early. I don't like not being able to see him. That's okay. I can see him when I go to the academy. Uh, I'm sleepy. Hmm? What is this smell? Yellow, what are you cooking today? What? Red saw me as he came out of his room. Hey, Red! 
Oh, um, hey. I grinned and said hi to Red. He <laughs> just very slowly is edging his way onto screen. Red slowly walked towards Yano. Hey, Yellow. Did something happen? What's wrong with her? What? What do you mean, what? You know, wh why is she suddenly so... Um, what's the word? Um, anyways, why does she look so different? Well, but she looks nice, so isn't that enough? I like that Master's glowing. Don't you, Red? What? A of course I like... No, no! Hey, there's a reason why girls change like that all of a sudden. Oh? Everyone's up... early. Hi. Hi, Tay. Good morning. I grinned and said good morning to Tay, too. You must be really happy about something today. Huh? You're grinning. I don't think I've ever seen you like this in the morning. Really? I feel the same. I guess I didn't smile that much because I was going through a lot emotionally these days. And I guess Tay was worried about me. I felt sorry for Tay, who always cared for me. Do you really have something to be happy about? Oh, nah. I just, you know, changed out of my school uniform just now, so... Eh. The weather's just too nice today. <laughs> oh, right. Let's hurry and eat. We can't be late. Is there... someone waiting at the academy? Uh, change back. Huh? No, it's nothing. Tay stopped asking. I looked at him, but he laughed it off again. I decided not to think about it. Do you guys really not know, or are you plain dumb? We ate the delicious breakfast Yano prepared for us and hurried to the front door. Oh, right! What? I ran into my room and grabbed a shopping bag. I found a pair of black shoes while organizing the shopping bags this morning. They weren't as high as the ones Yuri gifted me with, but they were higher than the shoes I normally wear. The cute round toe Mary Jane shoes sparkled. Ah, that's perfect for you. The sleek toe and straps covering my feet looked elegant. There we go. I walked to the front door with the new shoes. The clicking sound of the heels made me feel good. Okay, good. I'm ready. Everyone looked at me strangely, but soon stopped. I'm Spongebob today. I'm ready. I'm ready. The bus was packed as always, but I didn't mind today. I actually feel more excited as I get closer to the academy. I hope he's not going to start avoiding me now, because he's like, Oh god, I actually have real feelings for her. Ugh. I saw Lance standing as the discipline guide in front of the gate. <laughs> he was expressionless, as usual. I gathered up the courage to say hi. Lance, good morning. Hmm? <laughs> He looked a bit flustered and scanned me head to toe. Is he... surprised? I smiled awkwardly and passed by him. I felt as if he continued to stare at me, but it was probably just me. What is going on in that brain of yours, Lance? I saw Soy and Shinbi chatting when I arrived at the classroom. Oh boy, Soy's gonna pop a blood vessel. <sighs> Good morning, guys. Uh, there it is. Guys? What, what's wrong with the both of you? So I silently stood up from her seat. Guys, you're scaring me. She looked scary. Mm hmm. There are two things that I can never forgive in this world. First is an ugly boy, and the second. Huh? A bad friend who moves on to the next base without telling me! Soy, why are you, your eyes so scary? If you tell me the truth, I will kindly give you advice. Now, what is it? What? The way you look right now, you've met someone, right? Someone? No. Then do you have a crush on someone? I instantly lost words at Soy's question. How can she be so exact? I felt flustered and stuttered. It's, it's, it's nothing like... Don't lie. What is this fancy hairpin? Huh? When did you buy this? Isn't this expensive? I I had it before. To be honest, I got it. But if I tell her that, she'll find out everything. Hmm. You dressed up more than usual. S Soy, don't come near me. W wait. It was scary the way Soy reached out her hand. 
At that moment, Shinbi silently stopped Soi. Thank you, Shinbi. As Shinbi softly pressed Soi's shoulder, Soi sat back in her seat. Yep, it's only Shinbi who can control Soi. Sh Shinbi, thanks. No problem. Well, I guess it might get better then. Get better? What? What do you mean, what? Your nickname, Miss Maid. What? She's saying you look pretty. Shinbi interpreted Soi's words so I, could so I could understand. And she looked at me with kind eyes. My heart beat fast for some reason. You're pretty. Did something happen? What do you mean? I'm just more interested in these things. Is it weird? As I peered for the reaction, Shinbi smiled. She then closed her eyes and said, No, you're cute. Nobody will be able to call you a maid now. Thump. At Shinbi's smile, my heart beat fast for some reason. Don't start pounding foolishly, heart. You're only supposed to do that for Yuri. God, I now know why Shinbi's so popular. All the girls must have felt what I just felt. I felt others staring and turned around only to find several girls staring at Shimbi's back with heart-shaped eyes. Crush, or do you really have a man? So I scanned me suspiciously. I told you it's neither. But what were you guys talking about before? Changing the subject. All right. We were talking about the upcoming festival. Festival? It's the festival after the exams. Soi told me the chick's going to read tarot cards. You mean Yano? I knew Red was going to act in a play, but I never heard this before. Everyone, including Yuri and Yana, were really enjoying their lives in places I couldn't see. I felt proud and a bit upset at the same time. Our festival is famous as it is, but since we have the Hot Five now, it'll be so crowded this time. <sighs> ah, just thinking about it makes me want to puke. Why? I thought you'd like festivals. I'm in the student government. I'll probably end up working the whole time. <sighs> I don't want to be president anymore. Shinbi, do you want to do it instead of me? No. And I'm part of the student government, too. <sighs> You're not really a vice president. You're always busy modeling anyways. Besides, you leave all the work to other girls. Mm. Shinbi didn't refute and looked elsewhere. Well, to be exact, Shimbi doesn't exactly make the girls do the work. It's just that her fangirls volunteer to take care of the work for, for her. The way her fan club supports her, it's scary. Kind of like my face right now. I need some water. <clears throat> ah, I'm okay with working, so I just hope the exams end soon. I hope Thunder strikes the teacher's office tomorrow. They'll still make you take the exams, though. So I clutched her head at what I said. Shinbi gently patted her on the back, and as expected, I immediately felt the heart-shaped gazes come our way. Oh, Shinbi. You play, are you? It's lunchtime. The way back from the cafeteria felt longer than usual. Ah, oh, God. Is it because of the new shoes? My feet hurt a bit. I did manage to get my bread, but I failed to buy the milk with my uncomfortable feet. I don't even have water. Oh, the infirmary has a water fountain. Should I go get a cup of water? The infirmary is a place of fear for other students, but I've been there so often it's like a resting place for me. Besides, as someone who likes dolls, I can kind of understand Mr. Eugen's weird tastes. And I got used to seeing Beatrice, too. Sometimes I almost felt camaraderie with Mr. Eugen due to his strange taste. I headed to the infirmary with those thoughts, but I soon stopped. Oh, come to think of it, my cup's in the classroom. Should I go back and get my cup? I thought for a moment and decided to head back to the classroom. Hey. Huh? A boy I didn't know talked to me. Okay. His face was familiar. Oh! He's the boy Soi made a fuss about being cute on the first day of school. Soi told me he was forgotten a bit because of the hot five, but added he's still popular among the girls. Oh boy, I'm getting hit on by so many boys. And I heard he had a good personality. I think his name is... Flower boy. Oh dear. What a terrible name. <laughs> as I turned around to face him, Flower boy scratched his cheeks as if feeling flustered. Oh boy. What kind of voice do you give to a flower boy? Hey, 
Hey, my name's Flower Boy. I saw earlier that you tried to buy milk. Here, take this. The boy handed me strawberry milk. Oh. Huh? Is this for me? Why are you... I saw that you bought these often. You like strawberry milk, right? It shouldn't be who likes strawberry milk. So I end up buying it often when I go to the cafeteria. Here you go. Then I'll get going. See you next time. Flower Boy forced the milk carton into my hand and disappeared. What? Well, wait! I didn't even say thanks. I stood there spacing out for a while. I had bread in one hand and strawberry milk in another. What's this? I heard people around me whisper, but they didn't laugh at me or call me a maid like they did before. I heard words like, I'm jealous, me too, among the whispers. This is just like Cinderella going to the ball. Jealous? Triple dot. Triple dot! You've all been floating on clouds because of the festival, but please remember the exams are next week. Don't cram the night before to prepare for it. The home te room teacher ruined our day and left the classroom. <laughs> Thank you. Shinbi, make me a time machine. Let's go to the future when the exams are over so the festival can start right away. Uh, <laughs> me too. Let me in too. I'd like to make you one, but I have a photo shoot next week, so I'm busy. Hmm. So you're a celebrity, huh? I wish I had my future set too. You don't have to care about studying then. Huh? Shouldn't be you're going to continue modeling? Yeah, but it's not completely set yet. She... She? I guess this is supposed to be Soy. She got an offer from her agency last week to officially become one of their models. I'm still talking about it with my parents, Shinbi said calmly. She's the same age as me, and yet she seems so mature. Wow, that is so cool. I do like what I'm doing now, but I want to consider it more carefully. Wow, that's so awesome. So you're going to be famous. For some reason, I feel excited to think someone I know might become famous. Is she going to be on TV or on magazine covers? Not really. I'm just a beginner. I have to practice and receive a lot of lessons if I really want to be on the runway. Runway? That's so cool, Shinbi. I hope it works out. Good luck. Thanks. Shinbi gave me a small smile. I think I heard small gasps at that smile. Maybe I heard it wrong. But regardless, Soy looked indifferent and plopped down beside me. I don't care about the runway, fame, or whatever. Shinbi's still the strawberry milk killer. I've known her forever, so I can't really feel it. Don't ignore me just because you, you became famous. If you change, I'm going to post every single embarrassing part of your past on the internet. <laughs> My embarrassing past? You once got drunk after drinking ten cartons of strawberry milk straight. You think I forgot? You can get drunk from drinking strawberry milk? Well, I won't go into the details. Anyway, Shinbi, you can never ignore a commoner like me. This was somewhat ironic. Soy calls herself a commoner, but she's just as noticeable. She refused to be cast, but she had the looks of a celebrity. She's just as pretty as Shinbi is. I think I have great friends. Of course, it's not only their looks that's great. I told myself I'd become a new person today, but I already feel discouraged. Will I be able to become pretty like them? I feel small again. Come to think of it, I still haven't met Yuri. I wanted him to be the first one to see how I've changed. What a shame. Oh right, we're going to Banjul today. Wanna come? Let's study for the exam together. Banjul? Yeah, let's go, hmm? What should I do? Follow him? Probably supposed to be them. I hope it's supposed to be them. Um, now there's like t um, Yuri will never go to Banjul during the week because Tay's there, and I have a better chance of maybe catching him on the way back from school. Not this time, guys. Huh? Oh, sorry. I'll pass. I was still thinking of Yuri. 
I have to see him today or everything I did to get ready this morning will become useless. Hmm. Does it have to do with why you got dressed up today? So I squinted at me. Oh, no, no. Um, anyways, I'll pass for today, so you guys go ahead. Hmm. Well, all right. But never forget you must still be good to your friends even when you get a man. So I pouted. I felt a bit guilty and left the classroom. Sorry, guys. Huh. <sighs> Soy is always so sharp. She's usually slow, but for these things, she knows everything. But I know she was like that because she cherishes me as a friend. Thinking like that, Soy's pout seemed cute. I hurried and changed my directions. This morning, I set something for myself. Let's go see Yuri. Yuri would... Go to the music room. Yes, Yuri would be in the music room. I headed to the music room without hesitating. Please be there. Excuse me. Sure enough, when I opened the door to the music room, I found Yuri reading music sheets. Is it the piece he was playing at the day of the storm? Oh. Yuri stared at me and froze for a while. And then he turned his head back to the sheets. No! No! No, no, no! Don't you do this! Don't you do this now! Ugh, we've come so far. Why are you doing this now? Ugh. Mm. <sighs> okay, I gotta get myself under control. <sighs> You're here. Come in. Oh, yeah. I closed the door and went by his side. Yuri's cup was on the piano. Don't tell me he stopped drinking Secret Garden, too. Okay. Phew. The familiar Secret Garden scent made me smile. He still drinks this. Yuri, classes are over. What are you doing here? Well, I still have things to do. But why are you here? Huh? Oh, I... I didn't know what to say. Yuri left home early today, so I didn't get to see him. So I just came to see him. Does he not care how I look right now? Soy, Shimbi, and everyone else all commented on how I look, but Yuri's not saying anything. He's looking at me as if he has no idea why I'm here. Oh, so, um... Oh, right, the exams are next week, so I was studying for music and I got stuck. I was restless from lying and talking gibberish. Tay would surely laugh at me if he hears what, that I first went to Yuri for help instead of Lance. Besides, I can't believe I'm asking for help from a teacher who's writing the exam. I should have come up with a better excuse. Yuri stopped looking at the sheets and stood up from his seat. I now saw his eyes. <laughs> thump, thump. My heart feels as if it's about to explode. I was wearing the hairpin Yuri bought me. I woke up early to do my hair and put on makeup. I put in much more care than usual. Yano, Red, and Tay all told me I look pretty. Wouldn't Yuri say something too? I want Yuri to think I'm pretty. I felt nervous and my hands became sweaty as if I was being interviewed. Yuri pointed to the seat beside him. Sit. Huh? You said you had something to ask. I'll help, so sit. Oh. Um, okay. Sure. Thanks. He definitely saw me. He must have seen the hairpin. But Yuri didn't say anything. Uh, come to think of it, he acted a bit strange from the moment I entered the music room. Usually he would have flirted and said playful things to me, but now... So, what do you want to know? I can't be too specific, though. I have to be fair to all students, so I'll only give you brief answers. He wasn't just being a teacher. He was being cold. Right now, Yuri is treating me strictly as a student. He wasn't like this until yesterday. What happened overnight? Does he not like how I look right now? I'm not used to dressing up like this, so do I look a bit awkward? Or am I not good enough for him? I suddenly felt anxious. Oh, well, actually, I'm not here because of the exams. It's just that you left early today and I didn't get to see you. I came to see how you are. <laughs> hmm? I 
I see. Huh? Now that you've seen me, are you satisfied? Huh? Oh, sorry for taking away your time. Then I'll get going. I stood up abruptly from my seat. And I escaped the music room in a hurry. Damn, what am I doing right now? Yuri! Wait. I stopped as Yuri called me. Thank you! I'm like almost crying right now. Yuri was coming out of the music room with his jacket and music sheets. I'm going out too. You're going home, right? Let's go together. I'll drive you. Oh, no. I'll just take the bus. I felt guilty for bothering him while he was working. And at the same time, I felt a bit upset. I felt like crying, yes. What am I feeling right now? It's called rejection. <clears throat> it's fine. I'll take you. You know where my car is, right? Wait there. I'll get my things from the office. Yuri said in a calm voice. But even that felt somewhat cold. He disappeared towards his office. I gathered myself and headed towards the parking lot as he told me to.